Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are pretrial motions? Pretrial motions are requests made to the court by either the prosecution or the defense to take specific actions before the trial begins. These motions are typically filed in writing after the defendant's arraignment and before the trial starts. Purpose and timing. The primary purpose of pretrial motions is to address issues that can be resolved without a full trial. These motions can significantly impact the outcome of a criminal case, sometimes resulting in the dismissal of charges or the exclusion of key evidence. Types of pretrial motions. Several types of pretrial motions can be filed. Motion to dismiss. This motion seeks to dismiss some or all of the charges against the defendant, often based on insufficient evidence, violations of constitutional rights, or lack of probable cause. Motion to suppress. This motion challenges the legality of evidence collected, such as disputing the validity of a search warrant or questioning the lawfulness of an arrest. Discovery motion. Both sides can request information needed to prepare for trial through a discovery motion. If one side fails to produce the requested information, a motion to compel can be filed. Motion to change venue. This motion requests a change in the trial location to ensure a fair and impartial jury, often due to pretrial publicity. Motion for a speedy trial. In some jurisdictions, like New York, a defendant can file a motion under Section 30.30 of the Criminal Procedure Law to ensure the prosecution presents their case within the required time frame. Procedure, pre-trial motions must be made within a specified time frame, usually 45 days after arraignment, although the court can extend or reset this deadline. The court will decide on these motions, sometimes holding hearings to resolve the issues. Impact on the case. Successful pre-trial motions can lead to the exclusion of crucial evidence, reduction of charges, or even the dismissal of the case. These motions are crucial for preserving issues that could be grounds for appeal if the case goes to trial. Hearings. Hearings may be held to decide on pretrial motions, such as suppression hearings, where the court determines whether certain evidence should be allowed or suppressed. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below and feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.